What up? I'm Slappy, and today we're going to be making some white armor type patches and serum. Sorry for the wait. Uh, I got everything set up now, so I'm going to be posting a bit more frequently. So keep going crazy in the comments, and whatever gets the most thumbs up or whatever, I'll probably do next. So uh, first things first, though, I want to make sure everyone's going to your master rack and taking off fruity limiter. It's set there by default. I don't know why. All it does is pretty much limit you from sounding good, so always take that off. And the next on the uh, master rack as well, we're going to go to this first preset. I'm not going to get too in-depth into it, but uh, basically we can't hear these frequencies all the way up here and then all the way down here. So uh, cutting these just gives us more room in our mix. It's not going to make a bad song sound good, but uh, it's definitely a good first step. All right, well, let's get to it, shall we? Let's open up Serum. For this first patch, we're going to be using uh, Analog BD Sign, and then we're going to be using the same for Oscillator B as well. Let's uh, turn the phase down just a little bit for this guy. Give this one five voices, pitch it up, seven semitones, and we'll play with the wavetable positioning just a little bit. For the filter, we'll leave this here. Uh, let's take off A, have B on only. Take the cutoff all the way down for now, leave that there. We'll give it just a little bit of drive and just a little bit of fatness. For envelope one, let's give it just a little bit of attack. Uh, decay, we'll give it some decay as well. Ground here is good. Take the sustain down and we'll give it a good amount of release. Uh, for envelope two, let's give it a lot of attack. Around here, uh, decay, let's give it a good amount of decay as well. And then zero sustain, and let's give it just a little bit of release. Actually, let's turn this down a little bit. All right, now let's go to effects. All right, so let's start with hyper dimension. We'll leave these here. Let's just give uh, this a tiny bit of uh, wet gain. And then uh, for this, let's just, we'll have the size around 37 and then only, uh, 10% in the mix. Uh, next, let's do some reverb. Let's hit plate. We'll leave that there. Let's just do a slight bit of pre-delay. Low cut around, around here is good. High cut, let's give it a good amount. Uh, yeah. Damp, let's bring this up to around 45. Width, let's make this wide. Let's give it a, yeah. And then uh, for, the, for the mix, we'll do around 32. Now for some delay, uh, we'll leave these here. Let's do this at like 1 8 and just give it a tiny bit of offset or whatever. Let's take this down over here and we'll do it around there is good. Uh, let's hit ping pong and just have a tiny bit in the mix. Now uh, compression, let's do, we'll leave this around, yeah, 35-ish ratio, one, three, one. Attack, we'll give it a, uh, we'll give it around, around here, and then release, let's just give it like a lot of release. Uh, for the gain, let's do it just up like seven decibels. And uh, hit multiband. Now for some EQ, let's go over here, we'll leave all, we'll leave all these the same. Let's go, uh, We'll go around here and uh, we're actually gonna take the gain down around uh, two-ish decibels. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take envelope two and link it to the gain and have it go up. And now it's moving. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna make it a bit more dynamic or whatever, you know? Uh, now let's go over here and actually while we're at it, let's hit uh, envelope two and put it on the cutoff as well. And let's have it going up, uh, not too much. So yeah, uh, still kind of just sounds like a sine wave, not too cool, but we're actually almost done. Let's just go over here, hit uh, macro one, go over here, do filter, fill cutoff, crank that baby up to 100, go over here, crank that baby to 100, and now... I already just made a, a melody for this tutorial actually, so uh, let's just hear this patch we just made in action.
And uh, after this, what I'd do is uh, I'd add some more reverb on it and uh, a good amount of delay and uh, maybe EQ the low mids or whatever, but uh, I'll leave that up to you guys. All right, let's, uh, let's make another one now. Let's make some cool bass. Uh, for this one, let's just keep rocking with analog BD signs, honestly. We love them. All right, let's go over here, crank this baby up. Uh, let's pitch this one down an octave. Let's turn this wavetable positioning all the way up, give it like six voices. Uh, let's also go over here and hit uh, sync window full. Now uh, let's go over here, let's turn this guy down a little bit. And turn up the wavetable positioning a little bit. And that should be good for now. Now for the filter, uh, let's just leave it here. Let's turn up the resolution just slightly and have everything on. All right, now let's go to envelope one. We'll play with the attack a little bit. Not too much, but uh, that'll be good. Uh, we'll leave everything the same. Let's just give it a little bit of release. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. Now let's go over here. Let's hit mono legato always on the porta and we'll do like around 23-ish. Basically like what that does is make it like here, let, let me just, let's uh, turn it all the way up, you'll see. It's like that, that's what it does. So, uh, it like slides from one note to the next, yeah. Okay, we're, we're just gonna do uh, a little bit though, not too much. Uh, and let's go over here to the sub and yeah, we'll hit this, uh, the second one, and just crank that baby up. All right, now let's just do uh, some effects. Let's go to distortion. Let's, let's do this guy. Uh, we'll turn up the drive a little bit and uh, not too much in the mix. Now let's just compress it and we'll leave everything here. Let's turn the ratio all the way up. Uh, let's give it a good amount of gain as well. And yeah, uh, let's, let's turn on direct out for the sub actually. All right, I'm just gonna make something real quick. Uh All right, let's get into the third one. We're gonna make a, a cool pad. Real quick before we go into our third patch, uh, for all those angry keyboard dudes out there, uh, we all know that White Armor has multiple different styles from crazy ambient stuff to beats like Apple by Blade. Uh, you know, this is just kinda gonna be something that sounds like White Armor, you know? If I was him, uh, I would not be making this video. It used to be two, now it's three. I just want <laughs> epiphil fafa. This is gonna be stuck in my head all day now. In the Andy Salt Dreams. Slow, <laughs> open the window. So yeah, for uh, for this one, let's start with uh, basic MDC. And then uh, for oscillator B, we'll use uh, saw rounded. So let's turn this up to seven. Uh, turn the detune down to around 12-ish. Let's crank that wavetable up. Uh, let's pitch it up like six cents for this and uh, we'll turn the level up a little bit for this guy. All right, uh, for this guy, let's let's pitch him down an octave and minus one cent. Uh, let's give it eight voices. Uh, we'll take the detune down to 12 as well. Uh, let's turn the blend up just slightly and then uh, the level will take down just a little bit. All right, for this, let's just give it a little bit of attack. Not too much. Uh, and then let's just give it a lot of release. Around here is good. All right, uh, envelope two. Let's give it like a lot of attack actually. Uh, we'll leave that here. Decay, let's give it, you know, around. 
uh, sustain. Let's give it around here is good. And then we'll give it, um, yeah, that's show. And then let's take this right here and just like bring it up uh, only just a little bit, not too much. All right, now uh, LFO one, let's hit trig, uh, give it, go to bar and then just go like this and then And then let's have it, you know, like a nice smooth little, yeah. What's the meaning? All right, uh, LFO2, let's hit envelope. Uh, let's give this one half. We'll give this one fourth and then let's do like two bars. And then uh, let's take this and go like that. And then double click, there we go. Filter, uh, let's go to MG Low 24, just have everything on. Uh, let's take the cutoff off and let's turn the resolution up and that should be good. And now let's take envelope two and link it to the cutoff going all the way up. Okay, so now let's go over here and hit uh, bend plus and we'll turn it up just a good amount. And then let's hit envelope one and we'll have this going up, not too much around around 23 is good and then for this one you guessed it we're hitting bend minus now let's uh let's have this yeah a good amount and then uh let's turn the wavetable positioning up at around seven right here and uh link this going up as well yeah and then uh while we're at it actually let's take envelope two and have the bend minus just going all the way up all right, uh, now let's go over to our noise oscillator and go to analog, uh, noise, bright white, yeah. We'll do that. Uh, let's just turn that all the way down and then get envelope two and link this going up, you know, not too loud. Now we're gonna get that We're gonna get some All right, uh, let's do some effects. Let's do distortion. We'll hit uh, this guy, turn the, turn the drive down a little bit, and then just put that to zero. And then uh, we'll do one of these guys and just psh, zero. All right, reverb, uh, let's hit plate. Let's do, let's do this. A uh, good amount of pre-delay. Dude, just give me. Uh, I cut around here. Uh, let's do. Uh, around here, and then the mix. We're we're not using any of these. Some EQ. Let's go around. Uh, around there is Cho. Let's bring this down. Just turn it up, like ever so slightly. Uh, let's hit this guy for this one. Let's go around 11. Uh, let's turn down the Q as well and then just give it a little bit of gain, not too much. Um, yeah. All right, now for some, uh, some compression, let's turn this up around here. Ratio 151. Uh, we'll leave these here for the gain. Let's just do it at, uh, uh, and then for the mix, let's just turn it down. Let's not have it uh, fully up around here. <laughs> All right, now let's uh, let's enter the matrix and let's do like macro one. We'll do uh, oh, so many choices. Let's do distortion wet. Let's do like up 55. And then let's go over here and turn this baby up like around 59. And then let's go back into the matrix and hit uh, macro two. And then we'll do verb wet. And then we'll do round uh, yeah, we'll do around 75-ish, and then let's go over here and turn this up a good amount. 
Not too much. Now let's uh, add some chorus. We'll do we'll do around uh, sure, and uh, let's turn this all the way up, and then have this only at around uh, twenty-seven ish. All right, now let's uh, let's take envelope two and click on f the f flanger, flanger, flanger. We'll do that, and then. Uh, Let's take this and put it on the chorus as well, but we're gonna take it and go down. There we go. Not, you know, not like too drastically, but uh, around there is good. Yeah, this is sounding pretty good. All right, uh, let's add it onto our melodies. Okay, yeah, so we don't we don't want to overuse this pad. We're basically just going to use it in the way of um, smoothing the transitions and like making it hit more. I've noticed uh, why armor does this. Uh, you know, we don't have explosions, big 808s or anything in, in this. So uh, yeah, I mean, for this, we'll just, you know, hit. gonna take this uh, this this prayer I'm not, I'm not gonna make drums for this but uh, you know we'll just have this here cuz I don't know Here just uh, just to add to it, um, I'm just gonna do a guitar pluck. Uh, it's not mine, so I can't give it to you. But I mean, there's tons of free guitar plucks everywhere. All right, well, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's give it uh, a listen. Hope you guys liked it uh, hopefully I got kind of close to his style um, if you don't like any of the patches I mean you have them all now all you got to do is just tweak some knobs you know I mean sound design is pretty much all happy accidents at least it is for, for me and a couple of friends I know but I mean seriously like you just turn knobs you know I mean you could take this pad and just turn down the envelope take all the tack off and turn it into a pluck or whatever you know I mean there's 
endless possibilities. So yeah, if you guys want to get a bit more into uh, sound design, I highly recommend checking out Virtual Riot's uh, Serum tutorial. Obviously, we're all not trying to make dubstep, but uh, he does a great job explaining everything, and uh, it's like an hour and a half long, so definitely check it out. It's what started me and a lot of my friends out, and yeah, just search up Virtual Riot Serum, it'll come up for sure. If there's anything you didn't like about this video, let me know. Or if, you know, you think of a way I can make it better or something, yeah, let me know. Because I'm doing this for you guys. And I want it to be as best as possible and informative. So, real quick before I get out of here, I want to let you guys know that uh, the key you're making your beats in, like, affects the way uh, it sounds a lot. <laughs> uh, obviously, you know, but uh, not really. It's something that a lot of producers don't think about. Uh, I was watching this Young Chop interview the other day, and he was like, yeah, everyone was making trap beats in the, the C chord, you know, and then with my drill music, I brought it down to the deeper, darker F chord or whatever. And I was like, oh, damn, like, that kind of makes sense. And uh, I went and took my favorite songs that I liked, just ripped the audio, put it in FL Studio. I have, like, an auto key checker, and it told me the key. And I went and tried to make a beat like that, and it sounded way more on point. So... Yeah, something to think about. Uh, thank you for watching, and, you know, bye. <laughs>